Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the reaction log. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, you guys know I've been thinking about fugues a lot. I'm starting a new one. I've been working on another one for like over a year. It's BW1001. In starting the new fugue, I'm sort of realizing some things about how I used to play the old one. I feel like I became like sort of complacent in just the way that I played a lot of things, and I just sort of accepted like a certain amount of like slop from it after a while. And in starting this new fugue, I I'm approaching it a completely different way than that. Like, I'm really mastering each measure and even just each beat inside of each measure and really making sure, like, all the note durations are, like, perfect and everything's coming out. And, like, can I play everything reliably without any sloppiness? Just isolating. I know when you put the whole thing together, there's going to be, like, some mishaps, of course. I feel like a lot of places in BW1001, even when I isolate it, it's still, like, a little sloppy. So I've been focusing a lot on just, like, going through and isolating stuff. So what I want to do is do a little bit of field work. I want to head on down to YouTube and see how other people play it. Because I haven't really done that much research into it. Like, I learned all the notes and I sort of, like, interpreted it how I play it. But I'd be interested to see, like, what other people do. You know, maybe that'll give me some perspective. I assume it will. Let's see. It's also good to just listen to other people. It's nice not having to play for once and make other people play. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Actually, before we jump into it, there's a sale on Rootin's Delight right now. Do you guys know that I have merch? I sell merch. 15% off. The code is Feet. Lover. So you have to type that in. I'm sorry about that, but that's what the code is. If you want 15% off of everything, doesn't matter how big your purchase is, there we go. And to everyone who has bought stuff before this code, I'm really sorry. I didn't know I could do discount codes, but I totally can, and I will be doing those. So be sure to look out for that. All right. Without further ado, my hands are cold. Let's jump into it. So this is Anna Vitovic plays the fugue. <laughs> the fugue. Like, yeah, it is the fugue, isn't it? 1001. Sick-ass guitars. Oh, guitar. The world's marketplace for guitar lovers. Hey, what about feet lovers, am I right? Head on down over to Root and Delight. That's the marketplace for feet lovers. If you like this channel, subscribe by clicking on the notification. I'm in a private window, so I'm not going to subscribe. I'm sure I am subscribed to... Sick ass guitars though. Why wouldn't I be? Okay, we're in. No wait, wait. Very staccato. Staccato y wado y. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna be. Yeah, maybe I should not tune my guitar while she's playing. <laughs> Hold on. Should I just tune a whole step down? So I can be in tune with her. Is that a dumb idea? I'll do it. No, I won't do it. It's fine. It'll feel too good. That's why I don't want to do it. Anyways, interesting start. Very different from how I play. Let's hear that again. God, her fingers are crazy. So she's playing the version that I play. It's just like a whole step lower. Because there are two versions that I see. Like the, it's usually labeled Beatle V1000. This one goes up, that one kind of goes down. That's like a main thing that I hear. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm gonna be a little off from her. God, she's going so fast. Yeah, one thing I've struggled with is like having clarity in this part. There's always just some crap in there. So like, like little focus points that I've been doing is just like, but I still hear it. There we go. <laughs> Maybe admittedly, I just haven't been doing practice like that that much. Cause what I do is I'll just like run through the fugue like once or twice every day. I don't really feel like I've gotten better at it like at all really. Um, so maybe that's like an idiot way to practice. It just takes that level of attention where I just like have to actually play it slow. It sounds stupid to say out loud. It's like, of course that's what you have to do. God, her right hand is insane. She like plants her A finger on the first string. Am I seeing things? Yeah, see that? Uh. Clean your fretboard. What's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. God, there were some like sustained notes in there. I don't even know what that was. God, she's going so fast. Yeah. Oh, 
she handle this part? Same way as the first way, I guess. I was supposed to let her play, sorry. Nice chair, by the way. Though, somebody needs to saw the arms off of that thing. You can't be playing on that. It is a nice chair. Man, she really, like, tells a story with that part. I feel like the main thing I'm thinking about is just trying not to mess it up. I've been doing something different with that part. Like, that's just one of those places that I've been talking about with, like, the attention to detail, like, on the... I used to play... So, I have, like, a cutoff there. Where now I want that. I I've been sort of experimenting with, like, going softer and all that. Saying, of course she's not gonna mess it up. If this video gets a hundred likes, I will relearn it in G minor. I don't care. I'll do it. Hundred likes, guys. That's all it takes. Whoa. Oh my god. Playing that like she's in Green Day or something. Just going. <laughs> like, it's like you know you can do this, right? Uh, one of my most recent shorts has me playing that, okay. How's that next part go? Uh, I'm so jealous that she has bass notes. My score doesn't have that. So lame. I hate the way I play it. My version sucks. <laughs> my version of this fugue is like my wife that I hate, that I'm like staying with for some reason. And it's like my friends are like, why don't she just leave her? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. She's not all that bad all the time. <laughs> Hey, you guys relate? The average viewer of my channel is like a 50-year-old man. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you have to make a big deal about that. I cannot play right now. I need to warm my hands up. I'm sorry. I gotta break out the old popcorn maker. All right, that's a little bit better. <laughs> like that. It's like, Ugh! And then everything past that in the fugue is just pure muscle memory and it'll leave me at like any moment. Nice. Ooh, that's a nice, like, false ending there. That's only half the fugue. That ain't even the whole thing, y'all. This video's only half over. That's, like, mad respect if you play this half just as well as the first half. You actually care. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Nice little shaky vibrato. Oh no. Um, okay, wow, I need to look at that. Hold on. I'm telling you, everything past that second half, nobody actually has memorized well. And by that, I mean I don't, because I suck. Let me hear she played all that. Okay. 
Okay, man. is such a bore, isn't it? I hate that part. I mean, she kind of just blew through it. No. Wrong. Bad. Wrong. That's like, I, I need to work on that. Yeah, I feel like there's no good way to play that. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. It just take some time there. So I don't actually need to practice it. I just need to take more time there. And I'm not saying that she didn't practice it, because obviously she did. I'm just saying that it's a good use of rubato. I like that. It's easier than just ripping through it. Let me hear it. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. For that part, you might think that I'm playing it sloppy, but I was, uh, you know, I feel like that part deserves to be a little sloppy. It's so, like... forget how to play guitar for that part. playing this in A minor because I feel like the highs and like all the extremes and stuff it's like a bit more high strung literally it's a little more dramatic in my opinion I'm really happy to gain some perspective on that part Okay, well, you know, just watching somebody play it, it, it sort of helps me think about it a bit. Maybe I'll play the fugue one time through, why not, just to see how it goes. I'll try taking it at her speed, and uh, maybe consider some of her dynamics.
Oh god, a lot of a lot of mishaps in there. I need to work that out. Cause I do a gliss up to that too. I do that every time. So, you know, I have a lot of work to do on that fugue, even though like 2024 was the year of that fugue and it's almost over now. And 2025 will be the fugue of 997, the year of 997. I think 2025 will also be the year of refining that fugue. And I think having a fresh fugue to look at will sort of give me better perspective on how to actually refine the old one. Because I find myself, even just as I go through it, like especially when it comes to like note durations and stuff, like and just like muting strings and never having like stuff ring out, like you wouldn't want to hear like in a professional recording it gives me like a fresh set of eyes kind of and then i kind of take that back to the old one and it's like wow i never even thought about that stuff with this old one i think that learning this new fugue will give me a better perspective oh i think learning the new fugue it'll make me better at guitar like of course and then it'll make everything i play better because like why not um yeah obvious stuff i know i think we can pretty much wrap this one up here uh you know this is just me watching a performance i do this sometimes did i clickbait you good that's what i'm going for and yeah like i said there's a sale right now in Rootin's Delight. It's ending Friday at midnight, and it's Feet Lover. Feet Lover. F-E-E-T-L-O-V-E-R. All lowercase. No space. It'll be in the description of the video. Yeah, so a little sale. There's gonna be sales periodically now. So, you know, now's a good time to get that sweatshirt. It's getting chilly out. I'm gonna be wearing mine. Well, oh yeah, and guitar lessons as well. There's never a sale for guitar lessons. I cost what I cost, which is $30 for 30 minutes, which is reasonable. Yeah, whatever. So, guitar lessons. Boom. There you go. Comment questions. Feel free to leave them. I'll answer them in the chair. I like to do that sometimes. All right. I'll see you in the next one.